Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. An electroscope is a device which is used to find if an object is. Option A charged. Option B magnetic. Option C free of cracks. Option D hot. The right answer is option A. Charged. Electroscope is a device used to find out whether an object is charged or not. Question number 2. Electric current is to be passed from one body to another. For this purpose the two bodies must be joined by Option A cotton thread Option B plastic string Option C copper wire Option D rubber band The right answer is option C Copper wire Unlike rest of the three options, copper is a metal, and hence is a good conductor of electricity. Question number 3. The movement of the Earth's plates causes. Option A cyclones. Option B lightning. Option C earthquakes. Option D Thunderstorms The right answer is Option C Earthquakes The movement of the Earth's plates causes earthquakes. Question number 4 Two charged objects are brought close to each other. Choose the most appropriate statement from the following options. Option A they may attract. Option B they may repel. Option C they may attract or repel depending on the type of charges they carry. Option D there will be no effect. The right answer is option C. They may attract or repel depending on the type of charges they carry. If two charged objects are brought close to each other, they may attract or repel depending on the type of charges they carry. Because, like charges repel each other whereas unlike charges attracts each other. Question number 5. Which of the following is not likely to cause tsunami? Option A. A major nuclear explosion under sea. Option B. Earthquake. Option C. Volcanic eruption. Option D. Lightning. The right answer is option D. Lightning. Tsunami is caused due to the displacement in tectonic plates inside the Earth's crust. Lightning is in no way related to cause displacement in plates of Earth's crust. Question number 6. The Earth's plate responsible for causing earthquakes is Option A the crust of the earth. Option B the mantle of the earth. Option C the inner core of the earth. Option D the outer core of the earth. The right answer is option A. The crust of the earth. The Earth's plate responsible for causing earthquakes is, 
the uppermost layer of the earth, known as crust. Question number 7. Consider the list of terms given below. Number 1. Seismic zone. Number 2. Fault zone. Number 3. Mantle. Number 4. Inner core. The boundaries of the Earth's plate are known as Option A1 and 2. Option B1 and 3. Option C3 and 4. Option D2, 3 and 4. The right answer is option A. One and two. The boundaries of the Earth's plates are the weak zones and are called as seismic zones or fault zones. Question number eight. The outermost layer of Earth is called Option A Mantle Option B Outer Core Option C Crust Option D Inner Core The right answer is Option C Crust The outermost layer of the Earth is called Crust It is also known as Earth's Crust Question number 9. Major earthquakes are less likely to occur in Option A Northeast India Option B Rajasthan Option C Ran of Kutch Option D Orissa The right answer is Option D Orissa Major earthquakes are less likely to occur in Orissa. The most threatened areas in India are Kashmir, Western and Central Himalayas, the whole of Northeast, Ran of Kutch, Rajasthan and Indo, Gangetic Plain. Question number 10. Consider the list of terms given below. Number 1. Tsunami number 2. Landslide number 3. Floods number 4. Lightning earthquakes can cause. Option A1, 2, and 3. Option B2, and 4. Option C2, 3, and 4. Option D3, and 4. The right answer is option A. 1, 2, and 3. An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth, which lasts for a very short time. It is caused by the disturbance deep down inside the uppermost layer of the earth called the crust. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.